All right, uh, 2.6, we're going to be looking at scatter plots and lines of best fit. Um, so first we're going to talk about correlation. Let's say that this axis here is the number of hours you spend studying. And this would be your grade. Okay, so not very many hours studying, not a very good grade. More hours studying, better grade, uh, you would think. Uh, it would seem like there would be this kind of correlation. Maybe there's this one guy who studied for a long time and didn't ver get a very good grade, and this other person who didn't study very long got a good grade. But generally, you will see this kind of a pattern. So my question to you is, does there seem to be some kind of a correlation between the hours you spend studying and the grade that you get earn. Um, and it looks like, yeah, there is some kind of a correlation. Now, my next question to you would be, does it seem like a positive or a negative correlation? Um, and I, I would think uh, a, a large majority of people would say and have said in my classes that this is a positive correlation. Um, and I think that's because you already have a um, intuitive notion of something else we're going to talk about, which is the line of best fit. Um, the line of best fit is that line that looks like it would it would come closest to all these points, maybe from here to like right through there would be the line that fits this data best, the best the line of best fit, uh, and this line getting back to positive correlation this line has a positive slope as hours go up grade goes up hours go up grade goes up okay so let's look at a, a different kind of correlation it goes like this um, so what, what might have a negative correlation if this is your grade Okay, uh, maybe number of hours that you spend watching TV. Well, oh, hey, look at that. There's a C in that word. The number of hours you watch TV. What kind of a correlation does that look like? It, well, again, going back to the line of best fit, the line that seems like it would cut right through all of this and be closest to all of them. There's lots of lines we could draw. Uh, a line through this way and it's close to fitting but this red one definitely seems better and it seems uh, like it would be pretty close to the best line the line that fits best uh, so what kind of a correlation is that well that line has a negative slope so that would be a negative correlation okay um, now let's look at something else. Let's say that this is your grade again. And this is the uh, number of trees in your neighbor's yard. Okay. So maybe your, tr your your neighbor doesn't have very many trees in his yard, but does that have anything to do with your grade in a certain class? P probably not. Maybe they have uh, zero trees and you have a good grade, or they have zero trees and this other guy has a bad grade, and um, it's all over the place. It's everywhere. Okay, you go to somebody's house, you look at their neighbor's house, they have, uh, you know, 10 trees, and the one person has a good grade, you go to somebody else's house, their neighbor has 10 trees, and they don't have a very good grade. That doesn't really matter. There it doesn't seem like the number of trees in your neighbor's yard would have anything to do with your grade in a class. So this would be no correlation. All right. So we have a positive correlation, negative correlation, and no no apparent correlation. Um, so. Those are the three kinds of correlation. Um, now let's look at uh, an example of 
maybe positive correlation, but it's not very good. Like, it seems like as whatever this is goes up, this goes up, maybe your lung capacity or something. And your grade. You know, may maybe if you have a, a small lung capacity, you have trouble breathing, it means it has a, an effect on your concentration uh, and the, the amount of oxygen that goes to your blood or, or to your brain. And, you know, it seems kind of like a weak correlation, right? Pretty weak. This would be pretty strong. These are pretty close to this line. If we were to draw a line that fits this data best, it uh, might look something like that. But these dots are just way far away in some places, and so it just, this seems like a weak correlation. Okay, so this is weak. This is stronger. This is pretty strong, too. If we wanted to draw another example of some weak correlation that was negative, it just means that those dots aren't very close together. Okay, maybe this is like your number of friend, num number of uh, Facebook friends. Uh, maybe somebody with more Facebook friends tends to be on Facebook more, and uh, so spending less time studying. But that doesn't that that's not really a, a good indicator of what somebody's grade is going to be, how many Facebook friends they have. Um, and that line of best fit is just, those dots are just way all over the place, not close to that line in some places. So you got uh, positive, negative, no correlation, and then we have correlation that it doesn't seem like it's completely random, but it's not a very strong uh, correlation. It's weak, like we said. Okay. Um, and as we do example problems, we'll talk about how do we find out how strong or how weak a correlation is. Uh, but that's the basic idea. We want to know about uh, positive correlation and negative. And we, know we want to know about strong and weak and have at least some idea of the line of best fit. Do you understand these things? Then you have uh, gleaned what you need out of this video. So uh, see you in the next one.